This isn't no old mining town. I don't think they had a rush of of money coming in, people, but they did seem to have some kind of a boom that's been abandoned. This trailer might be abandoned. They had some kind of a boom early with a lot of buildings that are now left vac vacant. Buildings like this, very interesting. Old building structure still standing like this one with no roof. It's turned into a, a, a driveway. <laughs> I've seen that done before. This building up here is open. I think it's in work. Somebody's burning something over there. <clears throat> So there's the message. Don't forget. Oh, normally they have terrible hours anyway. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, okay, okay, I'll park in the shade. Spend a couple of minutes here. Probably should just pee in my car. I don't, th that grocery store looks like nothing. Google Maps says that there's a library here, but it looks like an open garage. I really wasn't planning on going inside. I just wanted to see the outside of it. Prisoners of War and Hitchcock. Yeah, there's definitely no library here. Southwest Public Power District. Nope. See how guarded. Oh, yeah, they're guard dogs. Oh, here's the library on the, this corner, not this corner. All right, so they set up a sign here. So it looks like it might say that on the same side, other side too. Yep. All right, looks like we got a bit of an abandoned house with broken windows, but they put in put new windows in. Like maybe they're intending on improving it. Is anybody working on this? <laughs> Interesting. It looks like it might be a church. Stairs like that. A real house. Alright, that's enough of Palisades. I I think I disturbed a few enough dogs. They don't have a lot. Just a few. Just play come over here, play with a few dogs and leave. That's in pretty good condition still. 
Huh. I'm gonna peek through the window here across the, from the grocery store. Peek, you can peek through this window. It's just one layer of wind, or I mean window. What a mess. I think the roof is, yeah, the roof's got a few holes in it. All right. Uh, let's check out the laundry mat. Hmm, what kind of washing machines can I wash my clothes in here? Oh, they're locked. You can cook while you're here. Bring your own coal. Ship to Richard Allen's Grocery? Alright. Guess it's shut down. My car's over there, that's the park grocery store. They got a little um, bathroom area here. <sighs> Women and men. They don't have any signs saying they're closed. Locked. Yeah, that's too bad. Used to be an old building. But Imperial Library works uh, for Wi-Fi, no password. But it's not open. They're still closed for COVID. It's probably the whole state of Nebraska then. I'm not too confident. Okay, there's a city park to the left. Check that out. I'm not too confident that Oglalala is going to have an open library now. One pound packages. Oh, it's in China. Oh, great. So, uh... I went back into the store, the grocery store, to th throw away the ring from around this water. Okay, I gotta take a left for the city park. And I heard uh, one of the customers say something about stinking, like, God, he stinks. And the cashier said, I thought it was some kind of homemade dis concoction. I think they, I think they were trying to say that I stink because I was right ahead of them. It's so hot out, I can't help but throw out a lot of, a lot of uh, scent. People are so obedient around here. That's an open garage door over there at that house. They don't even need to close it when they're away from their house. And this is next to a skate park which usually attracts questionable kids. This person forgot to take the key out of the lock. Are you kidding me? It doesn't even work. It comes out. Maybe it, it's just one that was left in here because it doesn't work. That's strange. Maybe you gotta... That's weird. Okay. It's a key that fits in there, but it doesn't work. Huh. And it's a water pump, I think, for the water tower. So they forget, they got the windows open, but they did put a cage over at least. So they got the water pump. They don't put a, they don't put a fence around the water tower. They let little kids, they let kids run around underneath, no problem. A lot of big cities will put a fence around that. They really, you really see a lax behavior on security. They still um, enforce the COVID rules, still have the caution tape up. They are really behind Kansas Sheriff truck over there in that yard, on that property. Caution tape is getting beat up by the wind and sun. It might, it might fall off by nature before humans take it off. All right, there might be electricity here on a timer. So I definitely want to park over here so I can play on my laptop. Even if there is none, I could still just comfortably sit here. They're not going to have kids over here since they're still stupidly enforcing them rules. The bathrooms are clearly 
likely closed. City, city leadership, county leadership, state leadership, I don't know who's really holding back, but looking at Nebraska, the east side is closed, but the west side is open. That's looking more regional, narrow regional decisions. So then, but the whole state might still be, for Nebraska might be closed, I don't know. It might not be a regional city by city thing. There's so many people here who leave a car window down, a garage door open, and then walk away. I guess with the library closed, this is the next best thing. Do they do this every hour on the hour too? It's 1, 8, 1 p.m. They did it practically every hour back in Kansas. Ar Ar Arboreal day, Arban, Arbland. All right, at this time I cook some fish, but it's a little late. I'm like, I left, what, what was the name of that city again? Atkinson, or Atwood? Ha, <laughs> still got it written. Atwood, and it's like there's bathrooms at night, and I'm like, I don't have to worry. I can eat late into the evening, but now I can't, not here. And it's got me nervous. I cook this fish. I, I'm going to just eat the fish, nothing else, uh, just because um, I'm scared of anything coming back to haunt me. And I'll just say, too, in Atwood, when I did let down my guard for eating, I, I feel a little fatter. I feel a little fatter from it. I just, I've been, I was, it was only a couple of days, two, three days. I was just eating as much as I wanted, as much as I liked, any time of the day, because I had bathrooms nearby, but now I have to cut back again. I have to consciously cut back. Also, how am I getting a moth in my car every night? I actually finally killed this one. Get out of here. I've, I've been able to get them. Uh, I'll roll down the window for them every so often, but... Every night for the past, every evening for the past week, I've had a moth just going nuts inside the car. And I've said this before, I'll say it again. I am just not a fan of parks where there's houses that surround it completely. Houses all around, I can't stand that. This is kind of on the edge, but not, not much. Only a little small section is like bordering a golf course. One thing that gets my attention is they don't have any signs that discourage overnight parking at this park. There's nothing. I walked all around it. I think I might try to park here overnight. The, libra the library is short distance. I just walked to the library. I'm not sure where the best course of action, what the best course of action is. We'll see about the library if it has any Wi-Fi. But uh, it, it seems like either one at the park or here is probably best to like try to park on the side of a road, like right here. Oh my god. I park on, on the side of the road right here. It looks like they, a house might have gone up in a flyer. But on this side too? Hmm. Yeah, I could park, like, right here, because it looks like there's a driveway, like there used to be a house there. I think I'd take that side of the road. It doesn't look too bad. This is total BS. The librarians are getting paid to work 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, but they're not going to unlock the doors. They're just going to work, not all, work 9 to 5, sitting around, doing nothing, locking us all out. Nebraska is terrible. It's rare to find a large can, almost two pounds of pears with just 100% juice. They're usually at Walmarts, at the common stores, they'll have syrup. I don't want to deal with that.
juice is good. And I found a store that actually sells a larger can, almost two pounds of pears. I usually have to buy the smaller cans because that's all that's sold for my style. I don't know why they put syrup on in pears. It's, it's so ridiculous. I guess just take the corner pocket. I gotta cover up these windows. Oh my god, this is. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. I guess there's no bathroom back here. What is this stuff? Huh. It just kind of wandered back here. Can you? Yeah, you can. You can help me find the bathroom. Can you help me find the bathroom? Yeah, they're Where? right in front of six and seven. Six and seven, the checkouts? Yes, sir. And it's going to be two to right on top. So this isn't the way to cross the highway. Oh, they do have a fence. Wow. It's that busy. All right. I want to go. I don't even know if it's under or over. I think I go under. Maybe this area is busy, busier than I expected. So they actually put a fence to stop you from jumping onto the highway. I didn't really expect to see this. It's busier than, maybe it's busier than I thought. I just saw a no trespassing sign to the river. Is that a joke? They don't want you trespassing down to the river. And they also have this fence preventing you from jumping into the river here. They've really, like, either they've, they've uh, developed properly for the amount of activity in the area, or they went overboard 